Well, we've been having a lot of problems with washout on the driveway, you know, trying to control the, where the water goes. We've got it where it goes where we want it to now, but it's just, it was too much for what we had in there. Uh, so we're getting ready to add these larger culverts to it here and we'll see how this goes. So we're laying out the, what we're gonna dig for the culverts. We've got the one up there marked too. And these are uh, 12 inches. Uh, they're pretty big. Get an idea. Scale.
I tip the box blade where one side will pitch out so we can get a little bit more of a crown on the road. So we're going to drag this down the driveway and up the driveway both ways so that it stays taller in the middle and shorter on the sides. Let's see how this works. kind of diverter trenches that go off. This used to be high here uh, as kind of beveled back towards the drive and this water coming around this corner was forced to run on the driveway down the driveway and it was kind of eroding it away. So now everything up here is going to hit this and go that way instead of down the drive. And then of course the driveway is crowned more now. So it's really tapered off a couple inches to the side, almost probably four inches to the side here. Gave it another exit there. Kind of go off. So I'm gonna smooth this out a little bit better. It's kind of a hump, but it's gonna. I gotta get it. Gonna drive over it a few hundred times and then uh, run the box blade across it again. But this is where the first culvert went in at here. And then uh, we're gonna put about another six inches of stone on top here. And it just goes off the cliff there. So we've got a pretty good water canal already dug there and we just widened it out a little and then that's going to head into the culvert there and then it dumps out over on the other side. And again, we'll get more stone for it here, but that's, you can see, it's more than two feet down. It only needed to be, I think 16 inches is what it called for, but uh, it's, it's way down in there. It, it may not look as deep as what it is, um, but that, that whole trench right there is about three feet deep. And then the pipe is 12 inches tall. And that just goes off into there too. Well, hopefully we're ready for a big rainstorm, but I don't think we're gonna have a lot of rain now for like a week and a half or something like that, at least in the forecast. I looked at like 10 days and it was just very, very small chance of rain. So we'll see what happens. So the next thing to install here is the geo web, which will lay out across the top of the driveway and then get filled with gravel. So it kind of makes like a big honeycomb and the gravel gets filled into it six inches tall. Um, these particular ones are, I think they're 19 feet long. Can't remember, um, but I think that's what they were. Nine, nine, each, each section of these are 19 feet. Um, tells me the size but anyways yeah so that'll get laid out across there and then filled with gravel and then the gravel cannot wash away what's in there so now that we got you know 90% of the water 
uh, is going to be hopefully go through the culverts and then what's left that runs across and down the driveway isn't shouldn't be able to erode away because this will lock it into place.